Hey, hold on, cause y'all know I can't see. All right, we're clear. I just need to make sure we're clear. <laughs> we're clear. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Y'all know I haven't been on here in forever, you guys. I haven't uploaded a video on YouTube in a month, and that's like a year YouTube time. I do apologize, um, excuses. I'm not even gonna make any. I suck at this YouTube shit, and I've been doing it for so long, you would think like, second nature but like i really suck but let's get into the hair y'all like it it's so cute hold on let me turn around Ooh i'm gonna try not to ramble too much i'm gonna get straight into it i know i have a lot of, of you guys who are new over my channel i know it's a lot been going on in my life and y'all want answers too so i ask you guys to ask me questions about any and everything you can come up with over on my instagram so if you would like to be incorporated in these type of videos Make sure you go follow me on my Instagram at Dejalay. Follow me on TikTok at Deja.Lay. Um, Twitter, Dejalay. That's pretty much it. Anyways, let's just get straight into the um the question. Question number one that I've been getting a lot everywhere, and I don't know why. Um, they asked, Am I engaged? No, I'm not engaged at all. <laughs> I mean, I do wear a ring on my finger, but it's on my right hand. Y'all, I apologize. I am using a ring light, but I don't know what the sun is doing. Um, but the question says, when can we start seeing more challenges and fun video from me? Miss the consistent days. You guys will start getting a lot more content this month, a lot of random videos of here and there. Whatever I feel like posting, honestly, I'm a post. Like, it's my life. I can do what I want. I'm a big girl now. But, like, I'm gonna start posting just everything for you guys. I really do miss being consistent on YouTube. Like, I know I say that all the time, and it's been a time in my life where I was like, I don't even like doing this YouTube sh no more. But, like, like, this is what I do. He all up in my house. But this is what I do and this is what I love to do and like I just need to get back into having love doing it. Cause like, ain't nobody out there like me to be honest. It's August, y'all know, Big Leo gang sh over here. Birthday's August 19th. If you're one of my birthday twins, comment below. But yeah, so all this month y'all are gonna get lit with me because like, like starting now, it's our birthday. Our birthday, my birthday, your birthday, Leo shit, you know? How's co-parenting working and how do you make it work? Co-parenting is great. I feel like I make it work because that's all I want out of that relationship is a co-parent relationship. Nothing else, nothing more, um, yeah, kind of expired and it's done that I need. So it works out well because we both have an understanding of what type of relationship we have. And that's just, you know, mom and dad for our kids. That's how that works. How did you start doing nails and what inspired you? Um, Really, I just woke up one day and was like, I can do that. I was tired of going to the nail shops in Vegas because they freaking suck. I was tired of finding people who do nails out here because they never reply. So it's like they never reply or they are pricey as hell, which I just don't understand. Uh, me on the other hand, my nail sets are very affordable. Max I've made somebody pay was $100. And that's because they was doing a lot. <laughs> I don't really, I do nails for my sanity. Like that's my safe space. That just allows me to just let everything go and breathe and just be creative. So I don't really do it to like, for the money aspect, which, you know, a lot of people charge a way amount for like maintaining the appearance of their lifestyle. But like me on the other hand, I don't really need it for that. So I just kind of do it as a hobby. And yeah, I'm a charge because nail stuff is very expensive. Are you and Aki back together? No, we are not. That's been a question that's been going around a lot. I am still very much single. Um, he is still very much single. Um, are you still speaking with him? How are things going between y'all? Yeah, we still speak. Um, as you can see, we still live together. So that's going pretty normal, like we're cordial. Um, but like, you know, I feel like more so it's a friendship right now. Um, and that's pretty much it. Who would you date short guys? You know what's so funny? Oh, I told you guys a story. I was about to say, I'm gonna tell you guys a story. But like, the story about the Tinder person, why I don't use Tinder no more, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Like, my motto is, if you're under six feet, you are a friend. I am sorry. I'm tall for a girl. I'm 5'7", and that's pretty tall to me. We need D1 babies, you know? Like, my kids gotta go do something. Be something. Do something great in this world. Oh, my glasses! Ciao! What advice do you have for someone wanting to just get up and move to Vegas? Honestly, do I mean depending on where you live do it Vegas is very much so hot as hell cold as hell um, If you're over the age of 21, you have everything to do out here um, me on the other hand I have my little Vegas life, so I'd be in the house I don't do nothing, but it's a lot of like hidden gyms out here. Um, you know, the club lifestyle is pretty lit. Living costs, like you, you get your money's worth 100%. That's why I don't think I'm gonna move back to LA. I was thinking about it and I still might, 
But like, I'm more so on just staying in Vegas. Cause like, <laughs> LA, they ask for an arm, a leg, and three toes for rent. So I ain't got time. Not yet, babes. He wants to paint. I told him after I filmed my video, we could paint. How do you like being single again? Um, you know what's so crazy? I was just sitting with myself the other day, the other night, actually, writing in my journal. And all I always tell people that I'm a relationship person. Like I love family dynamic because I'm just a very family oriented person, but I also like my space. I like being alone because when I was dealing with my healing journey, I was alone. So I adapted to being okay being alone. Does that make sense? Like, yes, I like being around people, um, but I love my own space. I love to be able to just come quiet and just breathe and like be one with myself. I came to the conclusion that maybe I don't need to like rush into relationships um, just because I want the family dynamic, that I really just need to take time Oh, do I like being single? I mean, as of now, it's been okay. I'm not really one so like, oh, let me be single so I can be in the streets. Cause the streets ain't for me, okay? It's real ghetto and real ratchet and I don't want it. So I'm not really like, oh yeah, I want to be single to mess with her son, her son, and his son, you know? It's more so for my mental health. So we just gonna stick with that one. Do I like it? Um, It's all right. It gets tiring after a while. I'm gonna get sick and tired of it, but you know, I gotta stand my ground. What really happened with you and DJ? DJ is my son's father. Um, I told you guys to ask me anything and I'm gonna answer it. So what really happened with us? Um, it was just kind of like, I forgot what I said in our video. Um, that was a long time ago, but it was kind of like our time just ran out. You know, love just ran out, time just ran out. We both came to the conclusion that being toxic is mentally draining. Yeah, that's what really happened. I went through a lot in that relationship. I lost myself a thousand percent in that relationship. Had a kid, went through postpartum. So that was like another thing on top of the whole relationship. Like it was just crazy. Um, I was with him for about uh, seven years um like officially or whatever it was just draining and right now i'm getting drained even talking about it but the relationship was very draining and we just kind of agreed to let it go oh uh, y'all don't even know i'm getting like tired of talking about it but that's what happened it was just draining and toxic when are we going to see your sister i miss you guys together hopefully Nyakiala comes out here this month. That's what we're hoping for. I'm praying for because I miss my babies. But hopefully you guys will be seeing her very, very, very soon. How's your mental right now? Um, my mental is okay. It's not 100%. It's not even like 75% to be honest. But it's getting a lot better. And that's, you know, I can only go up. So I just love being around like my friends and family and they kind of help me distract me in a way that kind of just don't make me sit with myself and be so anxious and have anxiety 24 7. so i really just try to like stay around the people that i love to kind of clear my head you know why don't we see layden anymore i really feel like layden i well me personally i never wanted to like exploit my kid for the internet type of thing so when layden got to a point of he likes being in front of the camera i allowed him to you know like be in videos here and there um, and then it got to a point where it was like, I don't really, I don't personally post my kid that often on social media because it's like, you know, that's his little life. But one thing I would say is Layden really, really enjoys vlogging. Like he'll go find my camera and try to vlog himself. He has his phone and he vlogs um, on his phone and it's really, really, really cute. So y'all will see him more often um, because he enjoys this. Like he wants to vlog 24 seven, so. When he just gets to rambling, don't say nothing because y'all ask for it. Best way to get over a breakup when you live together. Um, I mean, I've been through this twice now and it's very awkward. Not gonna lie to you, um, there's an awkward stage and that's only if you allow it. Best way to get over it, kind of just do your own thing. Although it's like, yeah, you're gonna be focused on that this person and what they got going on and who they talking to and da da da. Just learn how to disconnect yourself with the relationship and just focus on yourself, focus on your goals. And if you plan on like moving at, in this many amount of days or months, like just focus on that. Do what you gotta do to get to that. And don't really worry about this type of thing. But on another note, it's kind of like, maybe if the relationship is supposed to work out, 
then being around each other will be okay and it will lead to that again you know you gonna get over it when y'all don't live together so if y'all are living together now you just kind of gotta stick it out when y'all officially break up break up because you know like when y'all live together it might be a little flirtation here doing all this and that there a little bumping and grinding over here you know so like when y'all move out and like move separately and y'all are officially broken up then that's probably when it's gonna hit you like y'all are really broken up um and you just gotta do what you do to get over breakups, I guess. How does Layden feel about the breakup? I, Layden don't even realize, to be honest. <laughs> Layden's more just so worried about playing. He's a kid. <laughs> like, he, he's just, if he has somebody to play with, he's fine. Like I said, we, we try not to make it a drastic change that Layden like, oh my God, what's going on type of thing. It's pretty normal, like, more so like when we're all together as a family. It's more like the boys doing boy stuff and hanging out and roughhousing and stuff. And mom's just sitting over here filming, <laughs> you know? We're all out together or we're all out doing something together. It's more so Layden's attention is on playing with Ox. So that's how that's going. I don't think he really realizes. I don't think he will really understand until it's like, oh, this is mommy and Layden's house only, you know? Then he'll like, mm, what happened type of thing. We'll see how that goes. When are you having another baby? Girl, I told you, I told her, and I told him over there that I ain't having another kid until I'm married. So until that happens, you just gonna have to wait, sweetheart. Like, I'm not having another child until I'm married, and we gotta be married for at least a cool little two years. Late in by then might be a good 12, 13, 14. So we'll see. But until then, I'm not having no more kids. Holy. <laughs> I literally made, I literally, yeah, he might look like his daddy. I literally made my whole twin, and that is so crazy. That little boy acts just like me, attitude just like mine. Ooh, dramatic as hell, just like me. Clumsy as, just like me. Mm -mm -mm. It's like, I'm literally dealing with me. Kids really know how to test your ass, and he be testing me, honey. But yeah, so, I think that will conclude the video because everybody's just asking about my relationship. Oh, somebody said, are you traveling soon? Possibly Houston, I need my nails done. Um, the next place I'm going is out of the country. Y'all just have to wait for those videos and vlogs. And like, I really need to um, get my passport renewed so I can go. Um, so yeah, that's the next place. But I don't understand how I skipped all these questions. Was I just scrolling? Um, where is the best place to live in Hawaii if you had to choose? Um, me personally, like although, you know, I'm my family's from Hawaii, I'm Hawaiian. Um, will I ever live there? Possibly not. My, my favorite island though, all, all that, all tops, tops, everybody is Kauai. And it's just because Kauai is very chill, very relaxed, very local vibes, you know? Like it's not really a lot of tourism there. So it's really not that much to do, but like it's so pretty. The island is beautiful. It's not very touristy. Um, it's very, you know, like island and natural and fresh and green and pretty and so if I had to choose, if, if I was having to be forced to live on an island in Hawaii, I would choose Maui, I mean Kauai. Yeah. But probably Maui because there's more to do on Maui. But yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it. A lot of you guys are just asking very repetitive questions about the relationship, what happened with the relationship, um, are we gonna get back in the relationship, and all this and all that. I don't really know what to say about that one, you know? <laughs> but yeah, um, so like I said, it's my birthday month, so expect a lot of videos. Um, probably randomness, but y'all gonna enjoy it because my life is very random and shit just be happening. I'm gonna have my camera on me though, like my phone be on me 24-7, my camera gonna be on me 24-7. So if y'all get vlog clips that are like boop, 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 here and there and it don't really make sense, I'm gonna make it make sense because I be editing cute. So like, if y'all get just randomness in the video, enjoy it okay <laughs> but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you made it this far you're not yet subscribed what? make sure you hit that subscribe button follow me on all my other social media accounts that are down below and on that note my big leo shit be almost stepped on my fucking glasses oh my god oh my god <laughs>